my chance to prove myself. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Awesome. Does Liz get a new top? No, we've seen that before. Never with that skirt. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Yeah. Too late. You guys are losers. So, to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh. All right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling rough. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but make some music, make some you're not ready yet. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. Forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm so sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. Hey, true believers, it's Charlie. This is going to be so awesome. So Spider-Man trailer, let's break it down. There is a new round of the Spider-Man giveaway that's going on right now, too. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Be sure to click that bell to enable alerts so that you don't miss out on anything. I just love the Avengers run and you guys totally are not the Avengers. This movie's all about him still becoming Spider-Man like Iron Man gives him that speech. Look, kid, you're not ready for the big stuff yet. Leave the flying man in the suit to people like the Avengers. There are people that handle that. So he's trying to become an A-list Avenger, even though he kind of already joined the team in Captain America Civil War. That was kind of like his tryout. But you get a taste for his life in school, like him just sitting there. Obviously, you see Zendaya over there. Her name is Michelle in the movie. You can see she looks kind of dumpy. So I wonder if there's going to be some arc in the film or in the trilogy where she ends up becoming like supermodel hot just because in real life this is what she looks like most of the time. So the way she talks about herself in the movie, she's probably Michelle Gonzalez who's like a really badass detective that Spider-Man works with. She was his girlfriend for a period in the comics when he was not with Mary Jane. So even though they're doing really classic Spider-Man stuff, they're trying to do it in a way that they haven't done before. That's why we have Michael Keaton Vulture, who is supposed to have this horrific entrance. Like the way they cut him into the trailer, he seems kind of scary, but Tom Holland spoke about him like he was going to terrify Peter the first time he appears. So you see a little bit about his creation. That's Shatari tech left over from the Avengers invasion. So you see this has already become an Avengers world. They said the whole reason for going with a look like this, as opposed to say a comic book look with the feathers, is just because a lot of the aesthetic of the Marvel movies flows from Iron Man's technology, so it just makes sense that you would have technology-based villains like this. So classic Spider-Man villains with a slight Tony Stark Marvel twist. But we see a longer scene of him jumping off the Washington Monument, testing out his glider tech. Kevin Feige teased there'd be all kinds of bells and whistles we haven't seen yet with the suit, but that's just like the spider light. Things that you saw from the comics, all the stuff that Tony Stark built into the suit is going to be classic Spider-Man stuff. The whole idea here is that they're restoring Spider-Man to his true self. Like that's the whole idea in bringing him back to Marvel, bringing him home. So all the stuff that they add to the suit, like everybody's wondering what else it does, is all stuff that goes way back in the comics. So we've already seen a couple things that it can do. Like we've seen the Stark Tech web shooters. We've seen the digital readout on the spider light, which is also right out of the comics. 
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he has some advanced communication devices in there too. Like you see him flying with Iron Man at the end of the trailer. There's probably some tech built in there to help his suit communicate with Iron Man's suit, but it isn't like a full Iron Man suit. I wouldn't be surprised though if it's resistant to like knife wounds, but it probably couldn't stop a really big bullet or like a giant energy blast like the Vulture has here. So even though it's a Stark tech suit, it's not as strong as a Tony Stark Iron Man suit or even like Black Panther's vibranium weave costume. Although that would be really badass, a Spider-Man vibranium weave costume, maybe for the second Infinity War film. You see him hanging out with Ned Leeds here. This is one of his best friends in high school. He eventually becomes Hobgoblin in the comics. I don't know what kind of plans they have for that in the Marvel Universe. That might never come to pass. But you can see the homecoming banner here. It's Spider-Man homecoming because there's a homecoming dance in high school. And he's also coming home to Marvel. So one of my other favorite parts of the Comic-Con footage was in here too. Him getting in trouble for watching footage of himself on YouTube. Like he's watching a clip from that airport battle scene of him swinging around Ant-Man. The other big thing that's different from really big Spider-Man movies too is Ned Leeds, then in the trailer, finds out his identity that typically didn't happen in Spider-Man films till much, much later in the trilogies. Like usually if it was Harry, he kept the big secret from him and it became this big rift between them. But now one of his best friends knows his secret. Maybe Michelle will learn his secret through the course of the film too. The Iron Man speech is just so great too. Don't do anything I would do. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That gray area in between, that's where you operate. Then gives him that awkward Tony Stark, I'm not your dad, I'm afraid of intimacy hug as he pushes him out the door. It's like a hug and pushing him out the door at the exact same time. Classic Tony Stark move, he's given it to thousands of women in the past. But you can kind of see how he doesn't want to acknowledge that he thinks of Peter as like a son or he's not a father figure. He's one of those people that's almost afraid to tap into certain emotions that he feels like he might have. Like he has that psychoanalysis sit down with the Hulk at the end of Iron Man 3. Let's not open that can of worms. Maybe Doctor Strange can help him with that because he's an actual trained physician. But don't you just wonder, looking at this Michael Keaton footage, what it is that they said to him that convinced him to sign back on for the movie because he was rumored for the role a long time ago last year and then reportedly he turned it down but then later came back on. So I wonder if they changed the script or they changed something about the character or they showed him something that he really enjoyed. But I just love the idea of a vicious, evil Michael Keaton. He's one of those actors that has this intensity that you don't see a lot and he gets so meta when you think about him as Batman. Like that's one of the reasons why his Batman was so great just because he was so intense. But the thing about Peter here is that the way they cut this trailer makes it look like the vulture has just handed him his ass like he's almost crying here. He's in the hoodie still so this seems like it's before he has the Stark Tech suit. So like that teaser yesterday that looks like it took place before Captain America's Civil War where he gets that Stark Tech suit, maybe this film will jump back and forth in time just a little bit because they said they're not doing the Uncle Ben origin story, but they'll at least acknowledge it somehow. But most of this film is going to be localized to Queens with the exception of that Washington Monument shot in the scenes where you see him walking around the Avengers building with Tony Stark. So at some point, he will go see a bunch of cool stuff happening at the Avengers base. But this big action set piece here, does this not remind you of that Spider-Man 2 Tobey Maguire train scene? Except he's holding a giant fairy together from getting ripped apart. So it's just like that much crazier. That gives you an idea of how strong his webbing is. But it sounds like just based on the tone of this trailer that, you know, Tony Stark is only going to be in a little bit of the movie, but will help him out with whatever the big final battle is going to be. Because you see a couple different types of fights in here. You see him facing off against the fake Avengers robbers using Shatari tech to rob that ATM. He takes them down pretty quickly, but things start to escalate as you see the vulture come in, just crash through the ceiling here. So very quickly things spiral out of control and that's where Uncle Tony comes in. But let me know, what do you think about Spider-Man in high school? Like a lot of this is just very a day in the life of Spider-Man. Like he has to go to school just like everybody else. So every time something crazy happens and he wants to go help, he has to find an excuse to leave. So there is some Comic-Con footage that they did not include in this, but it's just of Michelle chasing him out in the hallway, just going, where are you going, Peter Parker? Like every time he runs away, but it'll be really fun to see how they try to distinguish the cinematography 
of Spider-Man in this new Marvel film. Because if you go back and you watch the Tobey Maguire, the Andrew Garfield films, they slowly tried to be more and more advanced with the way they shot him. Like when you look at this amazing Spider-Man Andrew Garfield trailer, it's all first person perspective for a large portion of it. Like you don't even see the spider suit in it. But the big difference with Tom Holland is that like even that teaser that they just dropped, it's all first person, but it's like he's filming himself. So it's like Spider-Man for a YouTube generation. Like YouTube exists in this world. So of course Spider-Man would film himself doing stunts. That's even a big part of how he earned money working at the Daily Bugle following Spider-Man around, quote unquote. Like, I know Spider-Man really well. He lets me take pictures of him. So if Peter Parker were going to be following Spider-Man around, it'd be all video. So just imagine a whole bunch of selfies of Spider-Man just doing crazy trick shots, taking villains down. But as you can see, it's the exact same suit from Civil War. You know, maybe a few minor upgrades during the film. It's all CG, even though he does wear a cloth suit on set. Like, this is what it looks like when he's walking around while they're filming. And if you guys didn't know, they do the exact same thing for Robert Downey Jr. He has not worn an actual Iron Man suit on set in a long time. It's all CG, 100%. So just imagine when they're shooting this Captain America Civil War scene, Robert Downey Jr. is just walking around like this in his street clothes. But a lot of you are asking, how is this going to connect to the other Avengers films? So largely, I think they want Spider-Man to feel like his own self-contained universe with other Avengers stuff happening in the background. That's where you have Tony Stark, the Avengers building, Shatowry tech left over from the Avengers invasion. But a lot of his core characters will be people from Queens that he goes to school with. So even when he's swinging around the city trying to help people, it's still going to feel relatively self-contained. Like he's not going to be jetting across the world every single day. But what they'll probably do is at least one of the post credit scenes will be a related Avengers film. Like it'll be an Iron Man moment or it'll be something for one of the other big films. But let me know in the comments, which post credit scenes do you want to see them attached to Spider-Man? They could do Thor, but that's kind of unrelated. It's out in outer space. He's never met Thor before. They could do a direct Avengers tie-in. That's actually more likely. But if anything, I think they'll just be teasing the next Spider-Man film. Just because it will be a trilogy. Tom Holland signed on for three films. Who knows how many he'll do after that. But that does not include his Marvel contract to do the Avengers crossover. So if Spider-Man comes into one of the other Marvel films, that's like a completely separate deal from a business standpoint. But if anything, I'm hoping that we see a little bit from his friend from Brooklyn, although we don't really know where Captain America is as of right now. He's kind of on the run. Last time seen in Wakanda with Bucky in Black Panther. So it looks great so far, but this is just the teaser trailer. We'll probably get a whole bunch more story the next time they drop a trailer, which will probably be around the Super Bowl. But there is a second trailer they're dropping tonight, like an international version of the trailer that has a little bit of different footage. So I'll totally do a video for that too, but that won't post till later in the morning. But I just, I love the idea that they're just dropping this all right now. They could have totally waited till next year, but Kevin Feige was just like, nah, we're just going to all dump it right now. Here you go. Everybody have fun. So first Spider-Man giveaway winner, congratulations to Spider-Fan. You win a Comixology gift card. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. I'll name another winner when I post that new trailer video in a couple hours. So get hype. Good time to be a true believer right now. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my ranking of all the Spider-Man movies so far. And you can click here to learn all about Savitar on The Flash. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.